Hello and welcome back to the Self Growth Project. My name is Paul and with me today is a very special guest. Um, her name is Sarita. And Sarita is actually a very well renowned master teacher from the world of Tantra. Um, Sarita herself has actually developed a seven level training course for couples and also has developed the uh, or founded the School of Awakening which has actually transformed the life of, lives of thousands of people. So hello Sarita and welcome hello. to the Self Growth Project. Um, I'd like to uh, firstly ask you, um, what, can you tell us more about Tantra and how it actually helps people? Yes. Yeah. Um, so I'll speak about uh, what Tantra is first of all. Sure. It's, a, it's basically the science of life and it was developed thousands of years ago. Nobody actually knows how far back in prehistory it goes okay. uh, in India. And uh, it's about bringing two opposite polarities together, whatever those oh. opposites are, because our formed world is made of duality. Sure. And when we bring these two polar opposites together, you will find the creation principle at work, godliness okay. at work. So Tantra has developed methods of meditation mm -hmm. to help people reconcile the oppositions which are in life, the mm -hmm. polarities, and find that oneness which is behind duality. And that's done through the practice of myriad different techniques of meditation covering the full spectrum of human experience. Sure. And of course that will include the sexuality, mm -hmm. emotion, senses, love, and spirituality. So all the different facets of life mm -hmm. are taken into account on the Tantra path. Sure, sure. Oh, thank you. I was going to say, um, can you tell us more how um, Tantra came into your life and how it helped you as a, as a person? Yes, yeah. well, I met a Tantra master. Oh, okay. Uh, his name is Osho. I traveled to India yeah. when I was 17 years old. Mm -hmm. And once I was in India, I got very interested in meditation. And initially I started with a Buddhist meditation, Vipassana. Mm -hmm. which was a meditation practiced by Gautama the Buddha mm -hmm. 2,500 years ago. And uh, so after practicing Vipassana, then I encountered Osho, who is a modern-day Tantra master. Sure. And I was initiated by him. That's how I got my name, Mahasattva Maananda Sarita. Sure. That means river of bliss. Mm -hmm. um, and then I just stayed in his community for 26 years and absorbed his teaching like a sponge. Oh. And that completely transformed mm. my life. Mm -hmm. Before that I had been very miserable and quite screwed up. Sure. And uh, through the practice of Tantra methods then my life came into its flowering and I discovered the endless mm. source of bliss inside sure, yeah. and then eventually I wanted to share that mm -hmm. so after 26 years in his community then I started traveling and teaching and eventually oh. moved to England yes yeah. <laughs> well wow, sounds fantastic mm -hmm. um, I was gonna say um, what was what is the best way for people to actually start experiencing uh, Tantra how can they get involved or how can they actually start learning its methods well, if people are feeling uh, a bit shy or scared about starting onto a path, they can sure. always start with a book. For example, I have a book, it's called Divine Sexuality. Okay. It's published by Finhorn Press. And in here, we're actually, uh, I'm actually explaining and demonstrating how uh, sexuality and spirituality can be merged. Sure. And this is a really nice way to start. Or you could start, uh, yeah, with any Tantra book. I also have an online course on Tantra. Okay. Where you can watch modules that have been videoed. Sure. And then we have uh, once a month uh, live connection on the internet. Awesome. So that's another way. Mm -hmm. And uh, also come along to a one-day event or a conference or a course, Tantra course. Sure. I work together with a team of people and we're mm -hmm. actually teaching all over the world. And so it's quite easy to mm -hmm. find where a course is happening. Like I'm going to Prague soon, I'm going to Poland, 
I just came back from France, so a lot of traveling is going on and just plug into the the stream of Tantra and jump in. Sure, sure. <laughs> Thank you. I was going to say, um, how, how do you see uh, Tantra as playing a part towards helping develop the world as it, as it currently is at the moment? Mm. Is, it, is it growing? Is it, is it uh, becoming more popular? How, how is that having an impact now? I, in my view, it's now a time of a renaissance for Tantra in the world. Sure. And periodically throughout history there have been times where Tantra has been very mm. important in the society mm. and other times where it's gone underground sure. according to the political or the, the religious mores of the time. Yes, yeah. um, and now it is a time when people really need Tantra because the society has attained a certain level of affluence sure. even though we're having a crisis at the moment. Yeah. Economically, mm. basically people live quite well Mm -hmm. And uh, people have attained to a certain degree of sexual freedom and sure. also the exploration into different kinds of spirituality. Mm -hmm. And that's a milieu which is very good for Tantra to develop. Mm -hmm. Basically our society is made of individuals mm -hmm. and then if you look beyond the individual you have the couple, the okay. coupling of male and female mm -hmm. um, and of course there's same-sex bonding. But if we can bring harmony to relationship with ourselves sure. and with the other, that forms the foundation for everything else that happens in the world. Oh, okay. And I think that the imbalance in the world that we see is expressing mm -hmm. the imbalance between the male and female principles in life. Mm -hmm. And if people can discover harmony in terms of the male and female principles, sure. the, again, that bringing together or weaving together opposite polarities, mm -hmm then we will see harmony in society and the world. Mm -hmm. So I believe it's of the utmost importance that people learn Tantra. Oh, excellent. <laughs> I understand you do, um, like I said earlier, that you've developed a, a, a seven-level course for yes. couples. Um, can you tell us a bit more about the actual course itself? Yes. Yeah. When we, what, what's the bit, what, it's, um, bit, if you could explain more on level one, for example, mm -hmm. how that introduces couples into Tantra. Yes. Um, well, the couple's tantra is the journey of a lifetime for a couple. Sure. I've met many people who meditate on their own. Mm -hmm. They find a certain degree of peace or harmony inside through that solo meditation. Mm -hmm. But then they discover that in the couple there's friction. Awesome. And they can't understand why is it when I meditate alone it's not helping my couple. Mm -hmm. The couple is a third entity, so you have two individuals and then you have the couple that's a third entity. Okay. If you want to find harmony in the couple, mm. you need to apply the principles of meditation to the couple itself. Sure, sure. So that means meditating in your intimacy, in your mm -hmm. lovemaking. Mm -hmm. And so in the couple's training, we endeavor to bring uh, an expansion of consciousness and love into okay. all aspects of love and relating sure. mm -hmm. and including the sexuality mm -hmm. and that means practically that uh, in the level one for mm -hmm. example you will be introduced what is tantra meditation in the couple mm -hmm. and then you will go to your bedroom and practice those meditations oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. and then you come back to the group room and there's some discussion and sharing about it mm -hmm. and because there's a group full of couples mm -hmm. All the different couples are learning from each other also, mm -hmm. their experiences, and it's a very, very enriching uh, process sure, sure. to be in that milieu where all the couples are rising in love, mm -hmm. instead of falling in love, I call it rising in love. Of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, you'll also learn in the level one tools for very conscious and harmonious communication mm -hmm. and that includes how to deal with the situations when the emotions get very strong sure. when you're triggered by your partner and you want to learn how to move through that gracefully okay. without wounding the other mm -hmm. so we cover all of these different aspects mm -hmm. and then in the level two we're working with the chakra system and the aura and energy bodies, so it's working with a subtle Sweet. energy dynamic. Mm -hmm. Level three is working with the senses. Okay. And so on and so forth. Each level will go into a different facet mm -hmm. of love and relating. Mm -hmm. 
And one of the things that's quite interesting is that as you go into that uh, couple's training, you will be asked to practice a certain number of love appointments with your partner in sure. the bedroom. Okay. And only if you finish uh, that mm. series of love appointments, then you will be welcome to come back on a level two. If you sure. don't complete your homework or home play, I like to call it, mm -hmm. then you can't come back. And mm. that ensures that the couple goes on evolving sure. as they move through the levels. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, it sounds, well, for myself, um, I, I am interested in actually joining courses. Mm. And um, what, what we'll, we'll do, um, if, if you're interested um, in actually learning more about Tantra and, and the workshops available, mm. there will be some links and information underneath the video here. And uh, also um, some information how, how to actually um, buy her new book called Divine uh, Sexuality, <laughs> which is, I'm sure I'm, I'm going to buy myself because it just sounds and looks fantastic. Full of wonderful pictures, very nicely designed. It Certainly. can be a, even a coffee table book, good for yeah. all ages. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'd, I'd like to say th thank you very much for sharing mm -hmm. um, your experiences and, and how you see Tantra has taken a, a large part in to contribute in the, the world, world's development yes. for people as couples and individuals. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm very much looking forward to actually experiencing myself the uh, level of training. Yes, wonderful. And um, looking forward to sharing that, of course. Um, the um, self if, self growth project itself, if you're not fully aware of the uh, the purpose of the website, is to actually um, discover and find ways of people to actually develop themselves for working with others or uh, as an individual basis and sharing personal growth experiences. So we look forward to see you, seeing you on the website and sharing your personal growth experiences. Mm -hmm. And um, once again, thank you very much, Sarita, and uh, we look forward to seeing you soon, no okay. doubt. Uh, Good. It's thank, been a joy. Thank you. Thank you. And th thanks for watching. All the best. Thank you. <laughs> okay.